When you first switch on, you are offered the menu of whatever organ sample set you've got stored in the computer. And they appear here with up and down through the list of the organs. So I've got St. Mary Lee Bow, Fisak, Yobiasco, the harpsichord and St. Anne's Mosley. So I'm going to skip along and choose St. Mary Lee Bow and press load. It will take a few moments to load and it shows you its progress as it goes along. Right, there we are, we've now got St. Mary Lee Bow. All the specifications, whatever organ you choose, are set out in the same format. You've got the pedal, the grate, and the swell, or it may be positive, or something else if it's a continental organ, but basically you've got your three divisions here, with the stops, sub-bass, violone, principal, open flute, just by touching them, on they come. Um, Okay, here conventional cancel C. Press cancel, everything disappears. So you can select any registration you want simply by saying what we've just done sub bass, uh, swell to pedal, chimney flute, stop to high and on the grate, swell to grate. Uh, you only need to just touch. If you're used to pressing pistons, you don't press, you just touch. If you press, sometimes they don't respond. If you press too hard, it's just a touch like you would do on your phone. Okay, so that's cancel. Now at the bottom here, we've got the option to set up general pistons, which operate in exactly the same way as a sequencer would do on a pipe organ. You've got minus and plus. This little indicator here shows you which series you're on. So if I select along here, I'm going from 1, naught to 7. If I select 7 and then I do a plus, I will go into the next bank of available setups. So I've then got 10 to 17. If I select 17 and I press plus, I go up to 20. Then I've got 20 to 27. And that goes all the way up to 9999. So you've got a whole range of possibilities that you can set up and store. OK, so let's cancel. So to set up the pistons or the generals, you press S, much like you would do on a pipe organ. You can then select whatever you want, like we did just now, sub bass, swell to pedal, stop diapason, chimney flute, swell to great. And press naught. That registration is now stored on selection naught on the first bank. Before you do anything else, get rid of set, because that's, otherwise if that's red, it's still active and whatever you do, uh, you'll end up wiping out what you've just done. So if I press cancel, I've now got what I had on piston one. So you can go through the whole range of that, as many as you want. So if you've got a complicated piece, you can set them all up on a sequencer. Plus, so you know, all you've got to do is plus, 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 and you go into each group each time. OK. Menu. That gives you a screen showing you the options for St. Mary Lee Bow. 
There we are, St. Mary Bow. You can, at this point, if you want to, change to a different organ, very much like we did at the beginning, by plus or minus and load. You've got presets here, which are allowing you to use the original presets from the pipe organ. I don't actually use those um, because they seem unnecessary. We've got all those generals down there, but if you wanted to experiment with that, you could. Temperament selection. You can choose what temperament you've got. Uh, mostly it comes up as original. Uh, and it can also change the pitch. Uh, like from A440 to A415 or some such thing. Um, so you can change the, pist the, uh, the temperament and load. Much like you would do with the pistons. There we are, A440 original is what's there at the moment. Up here we've got acoustic. By moving that along, you can alter the acoustic. The organ was recorded in various parts of the church. So at the moment, you hear it from the body of the church. If we were to move that right to the far end, you would hear it like it is at the console. So there'd be practically no reverberation. Um, but if you move it to there, you hear it as you would do from the church. Crescendo settings. You've got two swell pedals on the organ. One a conventional swell box, the other a crescendo pedal. And this allows you to select stop combinations in a progressive order onto the swell, onto the crescendo pedal which you can change. At the moment, the, the swell pedal on here is on the right and the crescendo is on the left, but you can swap those over. The next one is record. That allows you to record your playing and store it in the organ and transposer up or down, much like you would have on any other sort of organ. By touching reg, you return back to your stop list. So cancel. So we're now there. What I will do now to follow on from this is to record a piece with a lot of changes of registration with the, the camera focused on the screen so that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, it requires slight adaption, adaptation occasionally uh, to free up a hand just to touch a general which you would do on a pipe organ anyway. But I hope that's helpful and uh, I'll follow on this with a piece. <laughs> 